Hi, Wesley with Expand the Craft once again. Uh, this is the start of what's going to be a series that I hope you're going to subscribe to my channel and see the growth, uh, the birth, if you will, of this outrigger um, canoe. Uh, I got this old canoe uh, for a real deal. It had a bubble in the bottom. I did a, uh, a video just earlier about how to retrain your canoe. That's what all this is. This is a prop that is real removable that's going to um, fix the hump that occurred when they put it on this trailer that didn't have runners going the whole way through. So it, it bent and it warped. And so now I'm gonna retrain the plastic to um, get that hump out. Now, this is about risers and rudders today. These are the new risers for the Expand the Craft. Uh, the old riser, as you can see, used to go under the cross tube. This is Leo, by the way. Leo's being a good dog. And uh, so mm -hmm. the, the old risers, you used to go through here and you would take these pins and go through the cross tube and through here. And then you'd have to work your, your pin real close up into there. It was a little bit of a pain in the butt to get that together. But because of the price of plastic going through the roof, this, with the heat bend, I, I, can't, I can't produce them for as much as I sell them for. Um, or I should say it costs more to produce. So I'm now going back to my original version, except instead of circular holes, I do square. because Square tubing is so much easier to work with. We're going to be doing videos on that too, how to mount them to your canoe. Uh, so to explain how you can attach the new risers, everyone has different needs. Some of them not want decking to go over, and so you might have to move your risers or your decking somewhere. Uh, so I don't pre-drill for these new risers. But what you could do is, if you see here, I've taken the um, nylon uh, bolt and the, uh, the, the quick release and I put it here so that that stops the riser and you could do the other one on the other end you just drill the hole this one is not in the right place and that would stop or cage the risers to keep so that when um, uh, you want to take it apart you just pull the pin I'm trying to do this with one hand and keep track with puppy and then slide the riser off uh, you may have to when you get your riser do a little polishing a little uh, sanding and you might even have to um, take a little uh, tool and, and remove some of the plastic to make it fit but you want it to be a tight tight fit throw some uh, not grease you want to use uh, armor all on here that makes it slick and easy to remove uh, so that's one way you could do it another way to do it if I can do this one-handed is <coughs> Two-inch PVC. Oops. And slide it in. Now, now it's perfectly caged, and then you can take a bolt and shoot it through, and it doesn't even have to be a, a half-inch bolt. It can be a quarter-inch uh, bolt that goes through. You can make it permanent or what have you, and that's all that would be needed. Uh, some folks uh, are going to need a little lip to stick out so that if you're using um, the decking that I normally do, that the decking can sit there, and so your riser is going to be inset from there. You don't want to cut that off and have it a U-shape. It won't have the same strength. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Now also, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to show you how to build your own wood rudder. I'm also going to show you how to make a rudder fit on the back of this canoe, which is a pointy back canoe. It's not a flat back canoe. This is an old rudder. It's been in my rental fleet for, I don't know, 10 years. And it's been left out in the Florida sun and rain, and it's time to replace. So I'm going to do a whole tutorial on just how to build this. Measurements, everything is going to be included. Uh, you can do a foil shape um, like this one. Uh, foil shapes are more efficient through the water but it's not absolutely needed. This one is a very wide and uh, very efficient uh, for sailing. It, it's got a lot of bite to it. 
A uh, reason to do a rudder on a canoe, especially if you're going to put one with power on it, is that if you use power to steer with, you're constantly doing a little turn, a little, little there, a little there. With a rudder, you can not only steer the boat from anywhere, but there's so little uh, input. You, you just basically hold it steady and the boat will go straight. The steering is taken care of by the rudder, not the motor. And so it's just a lot uh, easier to manage. Sign up, subscribe, because we're going to go in great detail as to how to make the rudder and do all those things. What did he just eat? <laughs> he got himself a bee. <laughs> and tune in for more fun. And remember, it's easier to train your canoe than it is your dog. Wesley with Expand the Craft.